Hey! Hey, Fash, it's the 21st of March, 2019. First day of spring. And this is interesting. I got to share this with you. I saw this article yesterday. Are the temple vessels ready for Purim? And it talks about how uh, it may be significant to consider the recent reappearance of many, if not all, of the temple vessels. And they're wondering, are they ready for Purim? Well, just a few days ago, in New York City, there was a dedication of a new building, a piece of art, they call it. And you know what they call this new building? The Vessel. Okay? That's what this thing is called. The Vessel. And it's located in New York City. All right? They describe it as a honeycomb-like structure because that's what it is. It's a beehive. Okay? Now, you can take that for what it's worth, but this is that satanic spirit that's uh, basically conforming the world to adhere to its will. Okay? Self-will run riot is basically what it is. But they dedicated this thing this week. And there was an interesting part in this dedication where this guy talks about the vessel. Listen to what this guy says. Oh, guys. This vessel is not just a structure. This is a piece of art. The actual buildings that you see, the vessel behind us, was built by human hands. The whole point was to be lifting up 700 people, share extraordinary experience. <laughs> his, his bright yellow scarf to inaugurate the vessel, the beehive. Okay, that, this was just a couple days ago, people, that they dedicated the beehive. Seriously, all right? And it's called the vessel. Now, the Bereshit, the Israeli fake moon lander, is down to two on its count, okay? Eight weeks in space. Bereshit, I showed you how Bereshit is basically an anagram for Esther B. B. Do you understand where I'm going with this? The beehive was inaugurated this week in New York City. The vessel. The vessel. 69. And it was dedicated in Hudson Yard. Okay, that's the location of this place. Hudson Yards. Hudson Yards. You can't make this up. 888. Eight, eight. So, what's going on here? The vessels, are they ready for Purim? The vessel has been dedicated in New York at Hudson Yards. They claim how the human hands made the vessel. Look up vessel in the Bible. You are a vessel. I am a vessel. And they are trying to mold the world, the vessels, into one mind, one hive mind. And Bereshit happens to spell out Esther B. Why is that? Why is that? And today also is the day that Moses was circumcised. If you can believe that, because that's what they claim. Moses was circumcised on this day. You can make of this what you like. I mean, Bereshi to Esther B, the same week of Purim, they're dedicating the vessel as they are asking if the vessels are ready for Purim. You can't make this up. And this whole development where they built this vessel is part of the Equinox project. Seriously now, okay? So, you know, I just show you this stuff. But it, it just illustrates this manifestation, this total, total onslaught of Satan's attack on the human soul, on your conscience to, to pull you from God and get you to celebrate yourself. Because that's what this is all about, is man's achievements and the great I am. Self will run riot. And there's too much tied to this to not bring this up. 
I mean, even if we look up the bees in uh, the Bible, one of the instances is Samson. When he kills the lion, he returns later, there's a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion, right? A little bit later, he's having this feast, and he puts the riddle to the uh, Philistines there. And he says, I will give you 30 sheets and 30 chains of clothing, 30 envelopes, wrappers, sheets, bearish sheets. It's crazy. But, you know, this is nuts enough, right? But I got to show you one thing that just totally sent me over the top to do this video. And it's just off the charts. We have a business that we run here that uh, we deliver and ship things to people all around the world and we got an order yesterday and this order was made by a woman named Angelina Sheets. In a million years I could not make this up. Angelina, messenger of God. Sheets. Just the messenger of God, sheets, right? Bear a sheet. <laughs> Samson's sheets. <laughs> and the vessel. They've unveiled the vessel in Hudson Yards 888. So, I just got to give it to you. That's all I can do is give it to you and give you a bunch of links. And we all do our best to understand what's going on, but it's obvious that the things that we're seeing tells you that you're in a very deep and very serious spiritual war. It's for your soul. And Jesus Christ is the Savior of your soul. But you need to call on Him, believe on Him, study Him, ask who He is, seek out who He is, and He'll show you. And you'll understand that there is a way out of this this craziness, all right? Because all of this is coming down. It's all coming down. It's here. The Equinox Hotel with the vessel as they are asking if the vessels are ready for Purim. As they have their bearish sheet going to the fake moon and there it is. Esther B. Come on. You tell me. You tell me. Okay, the vessel made with human hands. Anyway, I have to share this stuff. I pray that it makes sense. I pray it blesses someone. Seek Jesus Christ. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 